So with that, I guess we'll move ahead to our business agenda. What about the resolution that I have and that she has? I'd like to read my resolution. We're not, we're not going to do resolutions. We don't well, do walk-ons. We're, we're all going to get I just said, okay, I just said what we were going to do. We're going to have you and Ruth and staff and a hopefully no, another I'm board member get together. No, resolution that I have here that I would like to no. read and make. No, we're not doing why, that. Why not? Because we've already passed that part in our agenda. No, we just... The resolution, we, we just had the speed talk, and then as they had the talk, one of the things we talked about all year is that when we have a presentation, you can then make a resolution that as long as it is connected to the presentation, which this is. No, that's not the process, Steve. And, and it's been the process many, no. all year. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. You have your resolution. I think you put a big stack of them up there. So I'd like to read it. it. I'd like to read it. We have a television audience. Let's, we have it on the record. I'd like to read it. I mean... It's, okay, sure, it's lengthy, but it's only eight. It's only eight fifteen, and I have a talk, and I'd like to speak to my resolution. Thank you. I don't understand how you could possibly not allow someone to make a resolution based on it when that was our discussion at the beginning of the year. That you can make. I've held this resolution all year. Not that I know of, but, 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 but allow me to the answer, idea that but the allow me to answer your core, question, Yeah, Steve. I'd like to right. see what kind of an like answer you have. If you'd like to make a statement about the Common Core, the time to do that would have been when the people were here. If you'd like to go ahead, no, I'm I, happy. <laughs> will you allow me to finish? Excuse me. If you'd like to go ahead and make a statement, if you wanted to read your and, resolution and as make a, a statement, statement, that's fine, but we are not accepting resolutions here tonight. Fine, as long okay. as I'm allowed to read it I'll, and, and make the statement based upon it. I have no problem with that. That's all I was asking. Not that you have to vote on it. Well, that's good. We're not going to okay, vote on it. Good. Well, of course not. You couldn't deny it anyhow because it changes policy. Exactly. You'd have to read that's it first. Right. So would this be a first reading? That's right. No, this is not a first reading. Okay. Well, I'm, This is a statement I'll, from you about I'll the read, Common Core, which I'll read you can it go it. ahead and make. When, now, when could I make this as a resolution, though? I think that we just talked about the fact that we're going to have you and Director Adkins and someone else get together and try and form a resolution that a majority of the board will agree to. But, they, but that, that resolution you said, and I appreciate you allowing mm -hmm. me to read this, but that resolution had to do with what we were talking about. Excuse me, I cannot hear that the That resolution if you're all had talking. to do with what we're doing with the state. Are we going to get together and make an overall resolution with the staff on Common Core and how they respond? Because my resolution has to do with how we should be responding to Common Core. And it's and it, and what the situation is concerning Common Core. Now I could ask all these questions to those people, and we'd be here for hours. And I, I, very nicely only asked the four questions that were not in these things. Right. Um, you can go ahead and bring that up in your group. I think that's just so, fine. Okay. So I can read this resolution. In Thank you. Group. Here we go. Uh, resolution on Common Core in Portland Public Schools, April sixteenth, uh, twenty fourteen. I'm going to put on my one dollar. <laughs> glasses from the dollar store. I'm now doing promotions, by the way, for people if you're interested in <laughs> the dollar stores. Whereas the Common Core state standards were developed and promoted by two private membership organizations, the National Governors Association and the Council of Chief State School Officers, and by other organizations, none of whom are connected with Portland Public Schools, and these organizations received millions of dollars from private third parties, philanthropies, and corporate interests to advocate for and develop Common Core state standards for the benefit of corporations and, whereas the corporate profit motives that drive the Common Core state standards are often in direct conflict with good education and can work to the detriment of the children of Portland Public Schools and whereas the CCSS were developed and vetted by committees of individuals, almost none of whom were K-12 educators through a process which was not subject to public scrutiny and whereas in our own state, Common Core state standards were adopted without open and transparent public scrutiny and with minimal input by Oregon educators, and whereas the implementation of Common Core state standards in the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium testing is a substantial financial burden on Portland public schools and Portland's taxpayers, and whereas Common Core state standards have never been piloted, tested, or proven in any arena to increase, to increase student learning or prepare students for college, career, or citizenship, and whereas as the funds spent to implement Common Core state standard, standards could be better used in well-known effective educational methods such as reducing class size, increasing reading support, adding programs such as the arts of, or CTE and alleviating the impacts of poverty on education. 
And whereas high stakes testing narrows the curriculum and emphasizes teaching to the test at the expense of other important educational topics and learning experiences, and whereas there are serious questions about the validity of standardized testing to inform instruction, evaluate teachers or other educators, and measure the value of a specific school's educational quality, and whereas data collected under high stakes testing has been shown to be vulnerable to misuse, and whereas the purpose of education is not solely preparation for college and career, but to educate a populace of critical thinkers who are capable as citizens of shaping a just and equitable society in order to lead good and purpose-filled lives, and whereas the top-down imposition of the Common Core State Standards adversely impacts students of highest need, underserved students, emerging by multilingual students, and special education students, and whereas curricular decisions should be in the hands of classroom and district professionals who understand the context and interests of their students, and whereas the Common Core State Standards were developed mostly by non-practitioners, implemented too quickly, were not piloted correctly, and may not reflect the learning needs of many of our students, and whereas significant time, effort, and expense associated with modifying our curricula to the Common Core State Standards takes precious resources away from meeting the actual needs of our students, and whereas the Portland School Board and superintendent have a responsibility to make decisions which are in the best interest of students, be it therefore resolved. Portland Public School educators should use the Common Core State Standards as only one factor among many in educating Portland Public School students and put no more emphasis on these standards than other important educational factors not listed in the standards in an effort to make sure Portland Public School students receive a comprehensive and well-rounded education. Be it resolved, district administrators and teachers <laughs> take into account educational equity in implementing Common Core State Standards. This includes, but is not limited to, making sure students in all schools have nearly equal access to the following. A broad range of educational offerings, access to courses outside of tested subjects, which are both considered electives and or part of a traditional education, appropriate testing practices which take into account the background of students, including underserved students, special education students, ESL students, and poverty factors. Equal testing support at each school where necessary. Field trips, recreational activities, educational projects, and other extracurricular activities. Parent communication regarding testing. Computer access throughout the year. Be it resolved, money spent directly on Common Core State Standards shall be clearly identified in Portland Public School budget documents. Be it resolved, money spent on Common Core State Standards and testing shall be carefully reviewed during the budget process by a committee which includes strong representation from parents, the community, and Portland Association of Teachers. This shall include money spent on testing materials, additional staff, additional computer equipment, professional development, and curricular materials. Be it resolved, all data generated by district response to Common Core State Standards shall meet a high standard of privacy. Be it resolved, Common Core State Standards shall not unnecessarily burden teachers with the following. Inordinate amounts of professional development or training to implement the Common Core State Standards, both in amount of time spent and in overemphasizing Common Core State Standards professional development instead of other forms of professional development or classroom instruction. Mandated use of Common Core State Standard curricular materials. Common Core State Standards used by educators as a part of teacher evaluation or plans of assistance. Use of smarter balanced assessment consortium testing as part of teacher evaluations unless specifically mandated by state law. Time spent on identifying Common Core State Standards use in teachers' lessons. Required practice testing for district-wide testing. Be it resolved, Portland Public School Administration shall convene a committee to assess the validity of Common Core State Standards and their use within Portland Public Schools. This committee will include strong representation from the PAT as well as PPS parents, students, and community members. This committee shall review and report on the following questions. Are there standards which we believe are incorrect for Portland Public School students? How much of the time spent on teaching to the Common Core State Standards could be better spent on other educational endeavors and what guidelines should be developed? How much instructional time should be dedicated to intervention programs and test preparation classes for students who not, do not meet the Common Core requirements on the SBAC? Are there standards which are developmentally inappropriate? Are there Common Core standards related, are there Common Core related decisions 
which are not helping the education of Portland Public School students? What testing procedures or protocol might create a validity problem for SBAC testing? Is the administration promoting Common Core State Standards in a realistic manner, making claims which are backed by peer-reviewed research and experience in other states or locales? What steps should par Portland Public Schools take in order to correct any validity problems? What is the effect of high-stakes testing on children, and what can be done to minimize any negative effects? Are restriction, restrictions on children brought about by their scores or their school's overall scores on high-stakes testing appropriate, i.e., such as missed electives, missed recess, loss of extracurricular activities? Be it resolved, Portland Public Schools make a concerted effort to inform parents concerning Portland Public Use's use of Common Core State Standards as well as their right to opt out of testing. Be it resolved, inordinate pressure to perform on Common Core State Standards testing shall not be placed upon students, teachers, or administrators. Be it resolved, pedagogy responding to Common Core State Standards shall be based upon well-established educational principles which do not include an overemphasis on scripted curriculum, one type of approach to educational problems such as close reading or nonfiction, wholesale diminishment of literature, developmentally inappropriate instructional practices, inordinate importance placed on testing, or the narrowing of curriculum. Be it resolved, Portland Public Schools shall take a legislative position which opposes state and federal mandates which require Portland Public Schools to use testing to label schools, personnel, or students based on test scores, including the labeling of focus priority schools and subsequent consequences for, the, for these schools. Be it resolved, Portland Public Schools shall take a legislative position that the state should suspend the implementation of Common Core for a period of at least three years and until this untested mandate has received adequate research and been field tested. Excuse me. Thank you for sharing that with us, okay, Steve. Okay, now here's and the second half you said me. I could share. Thank you for sharing that with us. I see um, a lot of places where some of the questions that we all had as we were discussing Common Core uh, are included in here. I appreciate yeah, that. Right. And I also... Um, yeah, I've, I've got a gap uh, right. Yeah, so I th but I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is that we were not looking at, at um, considering that tonight, but that we were going to take... Right everyone's input, what Steve's put together, and what I've put together, and then we would come up with something hopefully That's that correct. we can support. That's yeah. correct. We're not, this is not a resolution at this time. This is strictly your thoughts. Fine. We appreciate having them. And uh, as I said, I saw a lot of um, the some, same kinds of questions that were being raised by other board members, and uh, I can see that there's some places here for where we can all work together and hopefully find something that works for uh, at least four members of the board. If we're going to go work on this, then I'd like to finish the uh, the uh, talk More? that goes with this. Yes. Is there something different than what's in here? Uh, it's a it's a statement about what this actually tries to do. Can we just not? Why don't I just read it? Okay, go okay. ahead. I just want to talk. I just want to talk a little about how education works out in the schools and how this relates to Common Core. In your opinion, educators for years have have approached new initiatives by going way overboard in their implementation. Common Core is just a set of standards which gets teachers and other educators to think about some specific approaches to education which they might not have thought about a good deal. There's really nothing wrong with this. If that is how it worked, we could all integrate these ideas where they made sense into what we teach and move on. Some of the ideas don't make sense, of course, but there are some good things there. But that is not the approach that edu educators all across the country have taken, as usual. Common Core is seen by many as the savior of a failing education system, the one approach that can save us. There are several problems with this, as I have outlined in the whereases in my resolution. For one thing, it is a false narrative to say education in general is failing. For another thing, the Common Core itself is no savior. It is a set of standards. Standards don't teach children. Better standards have never been proven to make a real educational difference anywhere, and there is no reason to believe this will be the case here. Given this scenario, it should make us question whether the time, energy, and money we are expending on these standards and the subsequent high-stakes testing make any sense at all. And when you add the way the standards were developed and are being promoted, notably the absence of teachers and the hundreds of millions of dollars siphoned out of our classrooms to line the pockets of some of the richest people on earth, 
as well as the windfall profits for major corporations, it should make us just a tad bit skeptical. But instead, state after state, district after district, and educator ed after educator have gone once again overboard in support of something that has tremendous potential to be detrimental to the children of our country, our state, and our city. We have seen it before, SimCam, No Child Left Behind, Whole Language, New Math, Connected Math, Teacher Accountability, and on and on. Instead of balancing our new found information with what we know about educating children, we roll it up into a ball, hardening it with some of the same nonsense of the reform movement, and knock down the pins of sensibility. Think of it this way. Common Core is kind of like pepper. Paul Anthony and I went out to lunch uh, last Monday, and the guy comes around, you know, he comes around, and he's got the pepper thing there, and he, he's turning the pepper to decide that, if did Paul want on his salad a little pepper? And he said, yeah, and I, do you want a little, little pepper in my soup? And I said, no, I don't think so. Well, pepper made his better a little bit. And it, I didn't think it was going to help my soup, but if it had put in, it probably wouldn't have made much difference. But then, does the guy come back when you have your regular meal and say, okay, you want some more pepper? And then, just really pepper you into the ground? Do you want pepper in your water? Do you want pepper on each thing? Do you want, that's kind of what we do with the Common Core. We just have a decently good thing, and we just overemphasize it to the point of ridiculousness. And now a couple comments which are pertinent to information which is bandied about concerning the Common Core state standards. First, they are not state standards. This is a name given them so they won't be seen at first glance as national standards, which are, since it is illegal to have a national curriculum, which are illegal since it's illegal to have a national curriculum. Which brings us to the next falsehood. Proponents of the Common Core say it is not a curriculum. Well, of course it is. A curriculum is the subjects you study and what you teach. We are asking teachers to teach to the standards. It is a large part of our curriculum. If you are not asking teachers to teach the standards, in effect, teach the standards, then what is your supposedly, supposedly aligned to the Common Core State Standards Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium Test going to test? And why does the Common Core have things like the following in them if it is not a part of your curriculum? Parts of speech? the directive to teach grammar, various math skills, and analytical skills, for instance. Another major obfuscation <coughs> is the claim that teachers were heavily involved in the development of the Common Core. In fact, Rob Sachs has made this on TV, uh, on the radio today, when he and I were talking about this on, on Speak Out Loud, he said, you know, that there were all these teachers involved. This is not the case. All the reading I can find, well, he didn't say teachers, he said educators. I'm talking about teachers, see. All, all the reading I can find talks about a couple of teachers being involved. And no K-3, K through three teachers being involved. Think of that. We changed what we teach and how we teach kindergarten through grade three in 45 of our 50 states, 44 actually now, in essence making huge changes without so much as one trained early childhood educator giving advice or being involved. And we changed the way we educate Portland Public Schools 48,000 children with an untried, untested, unvetted system of education, the development of which has had none, none of our teachers, administrators, parents, or students involved in that development. Maybe we should be a little bit more skeptical, just a tad bit more, maybe. And thank you very much for letting me read that. I appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Once again, um, like your opinion, I think some of the, the facts that our staff provided to us are contrary to exactly what you're saying, but there are other parts that I can see where we might be able to find some agreement, and so thank you very much.